In the wake of the tumultuous events of 2020, it is widely acknowledged that the housing market has experienced a rapid and unprecedented surge. From April 2020 to the present day, the average price of homes in the United States has skyrocketed by a staggering 41%. However, it is crucial to note that this increase is merely an overall national average. In certain overheated markets, the upward trend has been even more pronounced, shattering the American dream for countless young Americans. For instance, let's consider Tampa, Florida, where housing prices have surged by a remarkable 64%. To illustrate the impact of this surge, a home that was worth $250,000 just three years ago would now carry a staggering price tag of around $410,000. Indisputably, one doesn't need to possess an economics degree to understand the gravity of this situation. It is highly likely that we are currently witnessing one of the largest housing bubbles in history. While it is true that the current national averages do not show clear signs of an impending downfall, a closer examination reveals the telltale signs of a looming collapse. One city in particular, often labeled as the canary in the coal mine, serves as a clear illustration of this trend. This is a city whose price fluctuations tend to foreshadow nationwide patterns. Even during the last economic downturn in 2008, we witnessed a similar phenomenon. Specific cities acted as early indicators providing a glimpse into what would soon engulf the broader real estate market. In recent times, the housing market across the country has been experiencing a crash similar to what had already occurred in cities like Las Vegas and Miami. However, this time around, the unexpected city taking a hit is Austin, Texas. Surprising as it may seem, Austin has become the focal point of a unique real estate market that is believed to provide insights into the future of the entire United States. Austin's housing market has taken a turn for the worse, similar to many other markets following the surge in prices in 2020. The downward spiral started in May 2022 and continued until November of the same year. Within just seven months, the median sale price of a single-family home in Austin plummeted from $715,000 to $550,000 representing a significant 23% drop in value over the course of one summer. Although the decline in prices was somewhat contained by January 2023, the current pause in the market is raising concerns. Many now believe that this stabilization is nothing more than a short-term rebound, commonly referred to as a dead cat bounce. This means that the brief recovery may be followed by another significant drop in prices, further impacting Austin's real estate market and potentially influencing similar trends in other parts of the country. The situation in Austin serves as a cautionary tale for the rest of America, with many experts speculating that the direction of Austin's housing market may mirror the future trajectory of the entire nation. As we enter the final phase before the market takes a plunge, the aftermath of the housing crash of 2022 reverberates through various neighborhoods in the city. A quick glance at housing listings on platforms like Redfin reveals an unsettling trend. Many houses have remained unsold for months despite repeated price reductions. Consider, for instance, a stunning townhome that hit the market in March of this year with an initial asking price of $1.5 million. It languished on the market for over three months without a single offer, prompting the sellers to slash the price by $50,000. However, even with this enticing reduction, the home failed to attract buyers. Since then, it has undergone seven more price cuts, with the most recent adjustment happening just last week. Its current price stands at $1,165,000, representing a nearly 24% decrease from the original list price. Yet, it remains uncertain if even this reduction is enough. The Austin housing market in many areas is experiencing a complete freefall with price cuts becoming alarmingly prevalent. Approximately 44% of all property listings in the city have been forced to reduce prices, a stark contrast to the mere 4.6% in February 2021, which marked the lowest point. Unfortunately, this roller coaster ride shows no signs of halting. The situation in the Austin housing market appears to be dire, with signs pointing towards an imminent crash. 
The staggering imbalance in inventory suggests that the market is on its last legs, leaving no other option for existing home prices but to decline. Experts like Bill McBride emphasize the importance of inventory levels in predicting a massive crash, as it serves as a critical indicator of the market's health. In the months leading up to the previous housing crash, inventory levels across the country witnessed a sharp increase, signaling the impending storm. Remarkably, the same pattern is unfolding in Austin. It stands out as the only major city market where the number of unsold homes surpasses any point recorded in the past decade. The current active listings exceed the quantity observed in 2013, demonstrating how quickly the situation has escalated. The inventory outlook appeared grim in early 2022, with the total number of homes for sale numbering less than 1,000. However, within a span of 18 months, this figure skyrocketed by over nine times. This should be a red flag for other markets nationwide. Despite claims of low inventory levels in various other metro areas, the developments in Austin serve as a cautionary example of how rapidly things can change for the worse. The speed with which the market has deteriorated highlights the need for vigilance in the face of a potential housing crisis. In the realm of real estate, there is a curious revelation that has come to light. We are all aware that the data we rely on to gauge the state of the market, particularly in Austin and other areas across the United States, is often outdated. It takes considerable time for the sale of a property to navigate through the necessary channels and be officially recorded in the databases maintained by major data providers like Redfin and Zillow. This delay is an inherent reality in the real estate industry. When we refer to median prices, we are actually referring to data that may be a month or two old. In fact, even though Redfin reports these figures as being from August, upon closer inspection, we can surmise that the data may actually pertain to sales that occurred in July. From the moment an offer is accepted to the time it is reported to the county recorder and subsequently picked up by prop tech companies, a considerable amount of time can elapse. While this is no revelation, what is truly astonishing is the complete absence of recent final prices in Austin. Even Redfin seems to struggle to glean the most up-to-date sales data, as I was unable to find sale prices on the county recorder's website. In fact, every listing in the area is classified as an asterisk, with no disclosure of the final sale price. It has come to my attention that the Austin Board of Realtors fought for a new policy regarding the display of closed prices, which was implemented in 2022. Since then, no website or platform utilizing IDX or VOW technology has been able to show this critical information, as it has been strictly prohibited. This raises the question, why? The lack of sales data puts both homebuyers and researchers at a significant disadvantage when trying to evaluate the market. It is impossible to gauge the recent final sale price in your neighborhood, and I question how Zillow is even able to present median sales data in such circumstances.